come out of a client session just now where I relate so wholeheartedly to what this beautiful young woman was sharing today. And it's reminded me of my own journey, my own hardships, and moving along the path of wellness, of wholeness, of embodiment, of integration, and the struggle, and the discomfort and confusion, and isolation, and feeling of loneliness along the path, the path of healing. I, I, I meet so few people that have such a, an appetite for this work of the heart. And it's a real honor to serve people that are willing to sit with themselves no matter what arises. And the tenderness of putting oneself into a space of healing, not knowing what might come forward with the mind or with the emotions or through the body. It's such a vulnerable, such a vulnerable space to put oneself in. And this awakening process is not a one, one time event. It's a, it's a continuation. It's a spiraling. It's a, an evolving. It's a, an emergence. And it's a continual process. It doesn't stop. And right now, because of what's happening on the planet, there's such a sharpness and a quickening. And it can feel really hard to hold on to yourself along the way. And it can feel very lonely. It can feel very lonely. And this is where my compassion gets very ignited for myself and my own journey and for the people that I have the privilege to bear witness to that put themselves in shared space with me so that I might hear them and see them and remind them and love them. There's such a tenderness in this journey and such a vulnerability and being truly seen and truly revealed to the core through all of the constructs. And sometimes we get so weary and tired of the healing work that we just want to stop it get to the connection and to the play and to the ease and to the feeling of grace and it's very disorienting to think and to know that in those spaces where we're most desperate for connection and a sense of safety and belonging and comfort and reassurance and home that we're being asked to go in for that sense of connection instead of going out for that sense of reassurance and stability and connection and okayness. When we're already in a a state that feels vulnerable or challenged or low energy, of course the, the great teachings are to go inside and to connect to the source inside and the nourishment inside, but We don't have a lot of models. We don't have a lot of practice. We don't have the habits of doing it. And so when it's encouraged and when it's um, highlighted that that's what's, that's the medicine needed, it can feel like, uh, haven't I done that enough already? Haven't I done it enough? I'm ready. I'm too tired for that. Where's my relief? Where's the support? Where's the connection? And it's a, to me, it's another um, invitation and initiation into the next level. But it's almost as if we, we get to that place 
kicking and screaming and crying and traumatized and knowing some of it, having some evidence of the benefit of it, but the energetics are heavy and tired and weary feeling to be told again and again to take care of yourself, to manage yourself, to go for the deep dive, to find the God inside, to find the relief inside, to find the support inside when we so desperately, because of our human traumas, because of our conditioning, because of our culture, we think that needs to come from the outside, from our beloved or from our partner or from our parents or from our children or from anyone else. So I suppose this is a acknowledgement and a deep respect and appreciation for that energetic that lives in all of us that would rather have someone else come in and scoop us up and remind us it's all okay, that you're going to be okay, you are okay, that you haven't done anything wrong, that nothing is wrong. It feels wonderful to think that an external force will come in and reassure and support all those shaky parts inside. And I suppose this is um, simply compassionate encouragement to keep going even when we hit those really hard places that are superbly vulnerable ultimately tired of this thing playing out the way it's been playing out. We need support. We need each other. Encouragement and reassurance is such an important part of this process. But until we dissolve the resistance on the inner planes, on the inside, knowing that we are responsible for our own energetic well-being. Knowing it, taking care of it are two different things. So I suppose I'm speaking to the parts inside of you that feel really broken up, disappointed, angry, frustrated, resentful, weary, tired, enough, like this is enough. I can't handle, I can't take, I can't stand one more thing to go off. Speaking to that part, doing my best energetically to witness that part in myself and in you so that at least in those spaces you may remember to pause and to soften around all of your pained edges, the traumatized edges that just need respite, that just need relief, that just need a break from the crashing waves that are pulling you under and making it hard to breathe, hard to feel, Hard to imagine moving forward with any kind of grace. Mm. The birds are here supporting this. The sun is here supporting this, this incredible grass. The wind and the blue sky. And I suppose it's just a real deep longing in my being to connect with that part of your being. And just to whisper that I love you and I'm sorry that it's so hard and that it feels sometimes like you're all alone in it and too tired to keep going. So my love, I hope you can rest just for a moment, maybe just in one breath. And know that you're not alone in this incredibly confusing journey.
I appreciate you and the work you're doing to free yourself, to find yourself, to know yourself, to trust yourself, to trust your life, to guide you forward. May this message and the energy of my heart serve you in any way that it can for exactly where you are. It's all so temporary. I know it doesn't feel like that. And maybe this uh, transmission can just be bathed in grace and maybe you can receive some grace today for your journey, for your process. I'm sending you all my love from my heart to your heart.